We're going to now create a contact form that is able to send email and we're going to use Gmail to do that because most everyone has a Gmail account and we're going to actually send an email from our application or our form into Gmail. And there's a couple of things we need to do in Gmail to allow the application to communicate with Gmail. Um, it's not very straightforward how you get to these, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. There's two things. So the first one is you need to allow less secure apps to interact with Gmail. And you can get to that. After you've logged into your Gmail account, then you can do the search for it. So it's less or allow less secure apps. Gmail, so something like this, and that will get you to this support document. So let less secure apps use your Gmail account, and that's on support.google.com. That's the one that you'll want. So I'll click and I'll go there, and I'm not actually in the place to do anything yet, but as we go down here, you'll see go to less secure apps section of my account. So I'll click that, and now I'm there. And what you'll do is just toggle this right here. You can see I've got it on right now. And once you finish using the application, you can turn it back off, which becomes more secure for Gmail. But you'll have to do this and have it in an on state to make use of sending email from the application we're gonna create. So there is another thing to do as well. I'm just going to click this arrow because that gets me into the main settings section. And from here, I can go ahead and disable two-step authentication. So I am going to scroll down, and you can see down here I have password and sign in. Two-step authentication is off. So this is the first section I kind of hit after I came from the less secure app settings, and it's under sign in and security, and so scrolling down password and sign in method. So down here you would just click this, two-step authentication, but down here, uh, I believe it will go back through the steps, and there should be something here for you that you can do the same to toggle this on or off. So yeah, you would have to sign in first, which I'll go ahead and do. And so what this is gonna do now is just bring me through the two-step authentication process because I have actually turned it off. So I went through that logon that we just saw signed in, and you'll do the same except for you, you'll just turn it off if you have it on. If it's not on, you'll see then in that section we saw earlier down here that it'll be off. So those are the two things you need. Less secure apps, toggle it to on so that they can communicate and turn off your two-step authentication or two-step verification. So what we're going to do now is go into Visual Studio and create a new application and add a package that's gonna be used for communicating via mail. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start Visual Studio 2017, and we're gonna create a new project. This is going to be Razor Page because we're just using the contact form, and we don't need an elaborate application to do that. So go to New Project. We're gonna use ASP.NET Core, just like we've been doing. So I'll do that, and I'm gonna call this Send Mail, and click OK. Then we'll choose web application. This is the Razor Pages version. Click OK to that and let that go ahead and create our project. Okay, so here we are. Our dependencies are still coming in and I am gonna right click on these dependencies and add in a new package. Just click OK to that and right click on this. I'm gonna go to Manage NuGet Packages and go to Browse. So what I want is mail kit. And I'll just hit enter. And this is the one here. So Jeffrey Steadfast, I'll click it, click install, and you'll get a few dialogues. So you get this one here that there are being some changes that are going to be made to the project. Um, you'll get the one for accepting the license agreement. And then that should go ahead and finish installing. Looks like we have completed. And I'm going to close this out. And then over here under NuGet, let's see we have MailKit. So that is ready to go, and you can see we have a Pages folder. So this is similar to what we did when we created a Razor Pages project earlier. And we're going to go ahead and start this and take a look at it, because there's a whole templated uh, website here that we're going to utilize 
And for us, there's a contact page. We'll make use of that contact page. All right, so this is the, the template that you usually get with a lot of these sites, MVC sites, Razor Pages sites, all kind of look like this. And if we go to contact, this is what's on it. So we're gonna put our form probably right below contact, right below the heading. So let's go back here and go ahead and stop that and open up contact where we're going to be working. And then you can see it is a Razor page. So in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and get started integrating with MailKit and building out the code we need to send mail.